right, Russell. First, we're telling people how managers screw up three ways one week, three ways the next week, and now we have three ways this week that people can become innovators. I think the key is, is, is to be an innovator, you have to look at it from, from three different angles. Number one, are you a need filler? The graying of America is coming fast. You, see, you hear all the stories about that. Stop looking at me, man. <laughs> I'm looking directly at you. <laughs> and, and what's going to happen is, is people are going to find new, new opportunities to create new businesses. For example, I fly a lot. There are more wheelchair use happening on, on flights that people have to line up with wheelchairs. Eventually what's going to happen, somebody's going to come up with a flight service for all the airports to handle all the wheelchairs and the senior citizens that are going to need moved around. That's a need that's coming that will be filled. Innovation. It never stops. And never will. It never will. And we don't want it to stop. All right. Number two is what has how people can become innovators. They're market watchers. What are the shifts? What are the changes? What are the things that are happening that are making such a big difference? For example, I have a smartphone. Apps are becoming critically important for smartphones. It's happened. We know that trend is, is there. The market is going that way. Even this radio station has created an app that fits my droid phone. That is, that is an innovation where, can you imagine how many years ago that you thought people would be listening to this radio station on their phone? <laughs> That's how technology is changing, but you are an innovator to get in, in, involved in that from the very beginning. And there's such a great story as to how that all came about. Oh. We don't have time to tell it today. <laughs> all right, number three, as far as how people can become innovators. Uh, they, they become innovators by, by applying technology. One of the things that I've noticed, uh, medical equipment is phenomenal, how it changes, and how it changes how medicine is, is given, especially surgery and, and hospital care. People are looking at this technology and saying, this is fantastic. How can we apply it to the equipment that we make to upgrade it, update it, make it better, make it a better fit for our customers? Not just medical equipment. We've got to be able to do that with all of our businesses. Figure out where is the technology taking our industry and how can we tap into it, get involved with it, and make it move forward. I always remember Lee Iacocca when he said, you either lead, follow, or just get out of the way. And, and, and right now, there's a lot of people getting out of the way. The followers are going to be lost. You've got to be a leader. In the new, in the, to be successful in the business of the new economy, you have to be an innovator. Pick one of these three, and the new economy will treat you well.